Okay, jumping into Subnautica VR. Subnautica VR is developed and published by Unknown Worlds Entertainment. So I'm just going to jump straight in and take a look. Okay. Okay, so here's our different modes here. We'll go with... Um, we'll just go with the normal survival mode for now. Okay, so that's loading the level. I might have to actually change my button configuration for this game. Okay, so let's jump in here, take a look. Okay, brief little intro there. Oh, all right, so we need to get out of here. Oh, okay, they just climbed straight up. Um, let's have a look at the movement system. Okay, it's not actually give me any um, indication of like my analog sticks aren't even moving. I'm using the HTC Vive Cosmos. I can't even move here for some reason. Hmm. Didn't really say much about controls. Was I meant to get out of here? I think so. It's on fire. Maybe not. We'll have a look in here first. Grab that. Okay, maybe we have to grab stuff in here first. Solar power circuits. Okay. Let's get out of that. Is that over there? to fix that up what's behind the ladder here so that's not allowing me to move with the analog sticks I'm not sure about the settings maybe we should have a look okay and then I can't actually jump here either ah there we are so that's the jump button how do I move forward there hmm very odd Let me check my controller bindings. Maybe I need to change it for the Cosmos. Okay, try those bindings. That doesn't seem to be doing anything either. Hmm. Maybe it's not configured yet for the Cosmos. No, oh, try what I can. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. Got through the escape pod there. Okay. We can lower down. What do we got here? Hmm. 
Is there a way we can swim forward here? I think it's meant to be letting me use my analog sticks, but they haven't configured it for the HGC Cosmos Vive. Hmm. Okay, so I need to go back up. Oxygen levels. Oh, there we go. So it's not actually letting me scroll down on this menu either. I think there's problem in my controls at the moment. Let's see if I can use keyboard and mouse maybe. Maybe it'll let me get oh there we go. That's letting me go forward with my keyboard and mouse. Hmm, that's very odd. So I'm using the keyboard and mouse while using the VR. Okay. Damage radio, we need a repair tool for that. I actually don't mind doing this, actually using the keyboard and mouse rather than the Vive controllers. Okay, so... What have we got in here? How do we select this? Let's have a look. Can I get a mouse cursor for that? Oh, let me get back in there. Yeah, this is going to be weird trying to use the keyboard and mouse for this. See, it's not letting me select any of those menu items for some reason. Ah, okay, right mouse button. Maybe we'll try that. Uh, so we can switch through there. Can't really select anything though, that's the problem. Okay. Let's get back in that. Okay, so that looks like the mission there. Maybe we can select that mission somehow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can access that log. How about this photo? Okay, I'm not actually 100% sure how to access this menu though. With just the keyboard and mouse. Hmm. Anyway, let's have a look around anyway. We'll go back out. Ah, we can take a look in options here. Yes, it's providing no mouse cursor, so it's quite hard to navigate with the mouse keyboard. Can we actually jump from here? I don't think we can actually. Alright, let's see if we can swim around here. That's quite strange. Now it's not letting me use WASD. Hmm. I'm <laughs> not sure how well this has been configured, to be honest. Hmm, 
Is there something we need to do before we can swim around or something? I'm not sure. Okay, let's get up up. So that's very strange. Now it's letting me move around again with the WASD once we're back up here. So something's gone wrong there. Maybe let's try to go back down again. There we go. Now we can actually move around. Swim to the surface. And right, we'll go explore this ship here. That took quite a while to try to figure out. Yeah, so I'm not sure about the configuration for the Vive Cosmos controllers, if you own that. I'm sure it will be figured out quite soon, though, but... Just use the mouse and keyboard. Can we get in here somehow? We don't have much oxygen, so we have to keep swimming back up and down. Well, I wonder where we are, because that looks like a planet there. Maybe we're on a moon for a planet, or that might be... Who knows? Radiation detected? Uh, maybe we can't go on this ship. We'll try anyway. See if we die. Hmm. Guessing we can't. Maybe we need to enter further up. See if we can enter up here somehow. Okay, what's that down here? More radiation. Can we access these? No, I don't think so. Break limestone. Okay, hopefully we grabbed what we needed there from the limestone. Oh, we're gonna make it. Yep, just made it up. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure if we can get on here yet, because it keeps coming up with radiation. Maybe I'll try and enter further down. Nah, no, see, it keeps... whenever we go too far away from this ship, our main ship. Maybe there's a device that we need to um, get to access that, the radiation zone. Okay. Well, it is quite cool just even looking around here. I was going to go into the free mode, the, um, it wasn't the survival mode, but I thought I'd try this first. What's that over there? Hmm. Daytime again?
Looks like there's something over here. Let's check that out. Coral tube, okay. Ah. So we're definitely not on Earth. This must be some sort of exoplanet, I'm guessing. Let's head back to our vehicle. I don't think it's really given us a clear objective on what to do. I thought I'd just look around first anyway. We'll have a look. I think we need to eat though. If we can access that somehow. Yeah, it's not giving me a mouse cursor, so that's going to be a bit hard. We might even have to get out of this and go to the normal mode. Okay. Damaged radio repair tool. Just trying to figure out how we access these storage items with keyboard and mouse. See, there's no mouse cursor, that's the problem. Yeah, so as far as I can tell, it's not very well configured for the Vive Cosmos yet. But I assume they'll sort that out. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to access this food. Doesn't seem to be a way. Okay. I might have to get out of this survival mode and try the normal mode. Okay, so we'll jump in this time and we'll try out creative mode. Okay. Build anything with no constraints, oxygen, food, pressure, story, or death disabled. Yeah, so we'll do this for now just because um, the bindings for the HTC Vive Cosmos don't seem to be very well put together. Let's wait till that is updated. Just wanted to jump in and have a look at the game anyway. It's the first time playing, so should be alright. Just using the mouse and keyboard. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, so we just got looks like we've got everything straight up. Okay. Let's see if we can explore that ship now.
What do we got here? Okay. Whatever that does. Hmm. I'm not even sure what this weapon does. Oh, we can switch, okay. Scroll with mouse button. So, what does this allow us to do? Travel faster, I'm guessing? And what else have we got here? Okay, there's the power tool that we needed before to actually fix stuff. And a knife, okay. Okay, so I'm guessing this thing allows us to move quicker. See if we can go in and now, because the radiation shouldn't affect us. Ah, and it also identifies objects underwater, I'm guessing. Maps it out, maybe? Can we get up there? Maybe not. Hmm. Let's see if we can get down here somehow. So the radiation that's leaking from this is killing all the life forms around it. Can we climb up here? Yep. Okay. So this is a power tool. Ah, that's a torch. Alright, so that allows us to construct different parts there, apparently. Can we sprint here? It doesn't even list the items, though. I wish it would. Oh, it's got a torch on it as well. Okay. I'm not sure if this is even the official way we're meant to enter this ship, but just have a look around. And I might try go further up. Maybe there's an entrance further up to the ship. You can see all the radiation in the water there. It's gone all green. Is that cloud cover over there? Hmm. Maybe let's get off here and we'll try swim up to... I think there's an entrance further up. So we actually crash landed onto this planet, I'm guessing, and it seems to be an exoplanet. Okay. It's a massive rock there. Okay. Maybe there's an entrance over this way. Looks like there's some Okay, quartz. What have we got here? Metal salvage. Hmm. Maybe some of these parts will help us fix our ship. Uh 
Oh, where's the entrance to this then? I'm guessing it's around the other side where that park was that we could see when we first came in. Deposit. Can we climb that? Look. So we can find further over this way. I'm guessing later on in the survival mode you can come over here anyway, so we'll have a look now though. Yeah, so all the different parts for the ship there. No fall damage as well, which is good in this mode. Let's have a look. Okay, we can get to the entrance from the front part anyway, so we'll just keep going up this rock structure. I don't know if we can climb any further up there. Let's go ahead. What's out there? Yeah. Okay. Let's try swim around to the front. This thing takes us pretty fast anyway, so I'll use this. Well, you can see all the radiation here pretty much killing everything. That's what it was saying as well, not much life forms in this zone where the ship is. I wonder when we swim further out from our main pod what sort of different life forms we can see out there. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious to know more about the planet that we're on. That seems to be either a moon or another planet there. Hmm. Okay, is there any entrance to this? Maybe there's not an entrance. I so we can drill through or something. There we go, I got a torch. It's helpful. I think that's what I saw when I first came in and thought might be an entrance. Unless we have to go underneath to find the entrance. Might be a pod under there, like our ship, escape pod.
Okay. Found something. Supply crane. What was that sound? Okay, then. I don't know what that was. I don't know if I can actually die in this mode, though, but still, that's creepy. trying to find the entrance. Hmm. No idea. It's not letting us swim that way for some reason or another. Whoa. That fish is actually taking it. Okay. Don't seem to be able to find an entrance to this. Maybe we can't get in straight away. I don't know. Well, we had a lock. Didn't seem to be able to find an entrance. It's quite hard to see at night as well. I'm not sure what this weapon does. Alright. There we go. Back up. It's quite hard to see anything at night. Even with the torch, it doesn't have a huge area of effect. I'll go back to our ship. See if I can see an entrance along the way here. There must be some way to get inside that, but yeah, I'm not too sure yet. Maybe you have to complete some story stuff first. Can we climb up it, maybe? Don't think so, but we'll try anyway. Oh. You can see the inside of the ship. It's just glitched up somehow. Yeah. Alright, we'll go back to our one.
That's quite a cool feature. It shows us what's actually in the vicinity. Wonder if it shows us items as well though. Seems to just show geology. Oh, <laughs> look at these two. Did that thing attack? I don't think so. I think in survival mode it probably would, but Okay, we'll get back in the pod. Okay, so that didn't work. What else we got here? Can we fix this up? That's the repair tool there, isn't it? I'm not sure what to do there. Okay, so clearly there's more to the story stuff, but I'm just in the free roam mode now. Um, but we'll keep looking around a little bit before we finish the video. Let's head out from the ship and see what's out this way. Some more of those things. Okay. Got a little bit of story information there. Trying to um, get a backup to get us out of here, but. Wasn't successful. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Hmm. What have we found there? 
sealed door cut to access. What do we have to cut that though? I don't think a knife's gonna do it. Can we use this power tool? Maybe? No. Ah, it looks like we have more tools in here. So that I have no way to access this. Uh, with my current button layout. Hmm. I don't know. Keep looking around. I did say there was a cave entrance somewhere here. Oh wow, what is that? Okay, and put that in our inventory before. What is that? Ah, vehicle, okay. Oh, it's gone up this up. So that's a vehicle we can deploy. That must be an on land vehicle because it just floated straight up then. Ah, oh, there was a water vehicle there though. How do we access that one? Okay. Is this the, I think this might be the cave system down here. Wow, okay. Whoa. Okay, this is quite a different area here. Let's have a look under here. Oh wow, there's actually stuff on there. Are they meant to be like giant jellyfish or something? Some eels. Yeah. That's it. Artificial structure. So there must be another one of those pods that we can enter somewhere down there. Let's have a look what this is. Cargo. Is there a way we can get in this cargo? Hmm. That has to be, but yeah, I'm not too sure. It's cool to just look around anyway. Not knowing much about the game. Oh wow. It's actually thermal vents under here. Let's have a look down there. How far can we go near them in this mode? Because I don't think we can actually die in this mode. That's the thermal vents under here. Pretty much, that's what spawned all the life forms under here. We got over this way. Giant eel.
All right, well, there's a brief look at Subnautica VR. So I've just come into the free roam mode and pretty much just had a look around. Um, so yeah, the HTC Vive Cosmos controls seem to be not fully configured yet. But um, I, I'm sure it will get there in time. But yeah, Subnautica VR is available on Steam. I'll see you guys in the next video.